Dante Tank Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney, no. Y'all ain't built like that, bro. Let me tell you what I need y'all to do, Devin Haney fans, bro. I need y'all to like get better at your lives, bro. Get better at your narratives. Get better at the at the at the talking points you try to to to, to provide. Cause it's just too easy to just basically give you a history lesson, tell the fucking truth, and kill everything that you're trying to say. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. If you want to debate, knock out box in 86 at yahoo.com is the email, or you can come by the channel when I'm live and we can debate right then and there. Knock out box in 86. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, when I'm live, and, and we can go right then and there, drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams, the videos that we're doing, hit me up if you want to debate, man. But let's get to it, bro. Um, shout out to my homie Boxing Debates with the Goon, bro. My homie Goon hit me up behind the scenes. He sent me the screenshot. I put it on the, um, on the thumbnail for y'all. He sent me the screenshot. Um, this dude, uh, Art Man, bro. Art Man posted something like, yo, why, why Devin Haney was allowed to basically eat on Tank Davis' watch. If they both chasing greatness, why was Devin Haney the one to be able to get undisputed on why Tank Davis and him was at the same division? Easy, because Devin Haney was willing to bend his fucking knee to top rank. He was in a position to where he needed that for validity because he wasn't selling tickets at the time, right? He wasn't a huge draw at the time. So he needed that in them belts for validity. And so he went and got on his knees Took that thing y'all like to call a slave contract, right? Y'all love to call it a slave contract. He went and he took that shit. He went and he took that shit so that he can get a shot at them belts over there. And then by the time he got done out of his goddamn shit with top rank, he dropped them motherfuckers and moved up. And now they done all been dispersed again. That's how. Tank Davis was never in a position where top rank was going to allow him to fight for any of those belts, bro. You got to remember... Lomachenko got two of them in 2018. When he moved, after he beat the Guillermo Rigondeaux, he fought um, Jorge Linares, who had the WBA championship. He beat Jorge Linares. You think Top Rank was going to let Jorge Linares fight Tank? Or you think they're going to put him in the ring with Loma? We all know they're making that in-house fight. So he never had an opportunity at the WBA. That WBA went, belt went from Loma to T.O., to Cambosos, to Devin, all in-house top ring fights. So he couldn't get a shot at the WBA, had to wait. WBO belt, whatever Bob orders. Pedraza's the champion in 2018. Somebody already whooped his ass at 130 pounds in 2017. So now that he got the belt at 135 pounds, you think Bob Arum is going to put him in the, in the ring with the dude that knocked him out the ring already and took his undefeated record in Tank Davis? Fuck no. Who getting that shot? The champion that's already in his stable, Vasily Lomachenko. That was Loma's 2018. He became unified. He beat Linares and beat Pedraza in in-house fights. Now he's a WBO, WBA champion. 2019 comes around. What's going on? There's a tournament. Supposed to be a tournament. Got T.O. in that bitch. Got, um, got Devin in that bitch. Got Luke Campbell in that bitch. And what does top rank do? They say, oh, we got Komei as the champion. So, Tio, we're going to have you pull out the tournament, and we're going to have you go over there and fight Komei, in-house fight for the IBF, so we can keep control of the IBF. While that's going on, we're going to petition the motherfucking WBC to allow us to get in it, to, to, to end that tournament, and we're going to get to fight Luke Campbell, Campbell for the WBA and the WBO that we already have, and the fucking vacant. And the vacant. WBC. Loma fights Luke Campbell, beats his ass. Devin Haney ends up getting fucked over because he didn't get a shot at the belt. He didn't get a shot at Loma. He didn't get a shot at the tournament. Bob Abram tells him you signed to the wrong fucking promoter. That's why you're not getting the shot. And then they proceed to make Loma Chinko the franchise champion. Devin Haney gets what became later known as the fucking email belt. That's how that shit played out. From 2019 to 2020. While that's going on, you got Tank Davis 
fighting for a regular WBA because he never was going to get an opportunity at the Super WBA. You got Devin being elevated to the WBC. And then Devin trying to fight fucking Loma, trying to, trying to get Loma to fight him, trying to fight Undisputed. Does he get the Loma fight? No. What does Loma do? Loma goes and unifies with Tiafimo Lopez for the IBF belt that Tiafimo knocked, knocked off Comey for. Loma loses to T.O. Now, T.O. has the franchise, the WBO, the WBA, the IBF. Where is Tank Davis' shot coming from? Because Tiafimo petitioned the IBF to make Cambosos his mandatory, and he fucking fights him. All of these fights are top-ranked fights, by the way. T.O. top-ranked fighter. Cambosos. Lou DiBella, fighter who later became tied to top rank because Lou DiBella needed a network deal here in America. But Lou DiBella and Bob Arum, very close fan, fan, friend, friends. Lenares, Loma, Pedraza, all top ranked fighters. Then after Cambosos defeats Tiafimo Lopez, Tank said, I knock his ass out for free. He can keep them belts. Devin Haney wanted the Cambosos fight. Was either one of them about to get it? Fuck no, they weren't, because Cambosos went on a whole tour, and guess who ended up getting the fight? Vasily Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko. But what did he do? He turned that motherfucker down and went over to the war. That's the only reason that Devin Haney got his shot. But when Devin Haney got his shot to be undisputed, what did they make him do? Sign up for three fucking fights. One fight with Cambosos, a rematch clause if he wins, and you got to fight Loma in the third fight. He tied to top rank for all three of them fights. This shit, how did he eat on Tank Davis? Watch, it just comes from lying-ass narrative about rematch clauses. Lying-ass narratives about Muhammad Ali act. Lying-ass narratives about filling in for Tank Davis on short notice. Lying-ass narratives about Devin being available to fight when he's really not. Because he's already tied down. That's where all that shit comes from. When in reality, Top Rank is, was doing the same shit that people hate that PBC did at 147 pounds. If you wasn't fucking with the PBC, nigga, you wasn't getting no shot. We making Porter versus Garcia. We making Garcia versus Thurman. Thurman versus Porter. Spence versus Porter. Spence versus Garcia. Spence versus Ugas. Ugas versus Pacquiao. Nigga, if you ain't over here, we got all these fighters over here, nigga. We got the belts. We ain't fucking with you. That's what Top Rank was doing at the 135-pound division. And the reason Devin was able to get his shot, because he took that stupid-ass deal that we all know Tank Davis would never take. Three fucking fights for one shot. The shit that the Muhammad Ali act was, supposed to, was actually supposed to stop, Devin went for it. Yeah. They lied about the Muhammad Ali act. Instead of paying attention to what the Muhammad Ali act actually said and getting they shot the right way. The only reason they got Cambosos is because they allowed themselves to be tied down for three fights. The Muhammad Ali act speaks specifically against that, against somebody getting an opportunity and having to sign with a promoter long term in order to get that opportunity. That's what the Muhammad Ali act was actually fucking created for. For you not to be able to do that to a fighter if you're a promoter. We'll give you the fight, but you got to come over here for three fights. You got to give us this. You got to give us that. You're not supposed to be able to do that shit. That's what it actually says. Not the bullshit that Bill and Devin tried to sell y'all that it says. So I hope that answers all your questions. Tank Davis was not allowed to become champion. Not because of Devin Haney. Not because of Devin Haney was ducking. Or because he was ducking Devin Haney, I should say. He didn't get an opportunity because Top Rank wasn't willing to do anything but in-house fights when they had control of the division with all those fighters under their stable. They had Lenore as a champion, Pedraza a champion, Loma moving up, Tiafimo a hot prospect, Richard Comey a champion. When Cambosos got the belts, they made sure he became a top ranked fighter. Devin Haney wanted a shot at the belts, they made him a fucking top ranked fighter. When Devin Haney was a top ranked fighter, they only made in house fights for him. How the fuck was Tank supposed to get a shot at any of this shit? Somebody let me know. Is that does that answer your question? Next narrative. See y'all soon. Peace out. Javante Tank Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney, no. Kyle ain't built like that, bro.